Tesla just did something very special about Giga Berlin electric car factory. It took Giga Berlin to the next exporting stage, exporting overseas. What I mean by this is Tesla opened an order page for the Model Y in Taiwan, delighting many customers there. The cars will be imported from Germany as they will be built at Giga Berlin. Not that Giga Shanghai is nearby, but I guess because of the politics, they're giving shape a ship from Germany. On Friday, Tesla fans Taiwan received great news. The long-awaited Model Y is now available for order in the country, in Taiwan. An owner of several of the manufacturer's cars, uh, with the name he is Stumacher, tweeted, wrote that he would finally be able to complete his collection by adding the Model Y to the existing Model S, Model 3 and Model X. He also revealed that the Model Y for Taiwan, for Taiwan will be produced at Gigaf Berlin and according uh, they delivered from Germany. He said Taiwan finally opened up the reservation for Model Y made in Germany, Model Y with SCCS2 uh, plugs and delivery of those Model Ys will be in quarter 4. According to the order page, the first deliveries of Model Y so will start as early as quarter 4, 2022. The long-range version costs about $72,450, and the performance version costs about $81,900. The vehicles will be fitted with CCS2 plugs. So, although Tesla's website does not list the country of manufacture for the vehicles, uh, H. Schumacher, uh, Twitter user, has received confirmation that they will be manufactured at Giga Berlin in Germany. Obviously, such a measure was taken due to the complex geopolitical relations between China and Taiwan, which have serious restrictions on trade, including cars. Um, you know, Tesla cars are very popular in Taiwan. For example, in August, um, with 1,774 sales, Model 3 was the second best-selling car in the country, in Taiwan, behind only the Toyota Corolla Cross. You know, Toyota Corolla is the uh, best-selling car in the world anyway. But Model Y is picking up. In the electric car market, Model 3 was the only bright spot as its closest competitors, BMW iX, only sold 69 vehicles. But now... What do you think about Tesla having the Giga Shanghai factory nearby, very close, and instead having to ship its Model Y electric vehicles from halfway around the world? Politics, not good, I guess. huh? Um, but that's also interesting new stage for Giga Berlin, because we know that Giga Berlin just started a few months ago the production of Model Y performance in Germany. We thought Germany and uh, Europe will be the primary market of Giga Berlin. But now we're seeing that Giga Berlin is exporting all the way near China, while the Chinese-made uh, Model 3 and Model Y vehicles are, or at least used to, be exported to Europe. So how do you explain this? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you, friends. The 2023 Tesla Model Y will come with some new features and some features removed. What will those be? new updates and new features with the 2023 Model Y. The Tesla Model Y is one of the best and top selling vehicles in the world right now. It's a spacious vehicle that offers a lot of features and functionality. It's made with new die casting machines, upgraded batteries and the new structural battery packs. Going into 2023, what will be new in the 2023 Model uh, Y? What new features? The first Model Y vehicles equipped with the 4680 batteries came from Giga Texas with dual motor and two sections created from Giga Castings. However, those fit mod first Model Y's vehicles um, came with uh, what appeared to be mediocre specs like long range, 326 miles EPA, 7 seats, 76 uh, CU foot of cargo, AWS dual motor, 0 to 60 miles per hour. Uh, in 4.8 seconds, top speed 135 miles per hour. The performance came in 303 miles EPA, 5 seats, 76 cubic feet of cargo, AWS dual motor, 0 to 16 in 3.5 seconds, top speed 155 miles, with less range than the existing dual motor Model Y, with a slightly reduced price tag, what was going on? Some people received those cars and they are apparently really nice. The Tesla decided to produce the Model Y in the same way as Fremont with the added benefit of a state-of-the-art production line. Tesla is still receiving the 4680 battery packs 
from giga texas but is stockpiling them and not putting them into vehicles at the moment giga texas's goal is to reduce model y wait time along with model 3 long range vehicles that is the difference giga texas is making for the model y you can get a model y performance within a month creating a shortening wait time that hasn't been seen in a while reduce model y wait time is of course good one of the features of 2020 will be tesla's full self-driving software which should make it to wide release and be available to safety scores of at least 80 and higher this will cost fifteen thousand dollars in the united states though and costs are higher in canada with fsd at nineteen thousand five hundred dollars a powered frunk could be one of the new features normally the frunk requires manual lifting after it unlocks but tesla's data software updates are showing that a powered operating frunk is on the way other ev makers already have this also coming soon will be steam integration for in-car gaming all gamers will be excited probably for this for this and it will be a good thing especially when fsd reaches a wide release and robo taxis start to hit the market but i think it's better to read books when you are in fsd startless steering wheels will also likely to be coming and converted to touch control buttons on the steering wheels similar to the model s and model x vehicles it will probably be around steering wheel still you will need to learn to use touch buttons and the center touch screen instead of stocks. By the way, when I said reading books, I meant when FSD reaches level 5 driving. A standard range rear wheel drive Model Y is a variation that is made at Giga Shanghai. It uses LFP batteries, which contain much more iron. This is cheaper to produce and the batteries may have less density, but they also have a much longer lifespan and can charge to 100% without nearly as much degradation. These are much cheaper than the longer range models. These new features for the 2023 Tesla Model Y will be coming and we will see many more Model Y vehicles than ever before. So do you think all of these features will make it to the 2023 Model Y? What are your options that you think will be features of or specs in the 2023 Model Y? Let me know, friends, in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you and um, I'll look forward to your comments. Tesla's end of quarter push is in full effect at the Fremont factory as the automaker pushes to deliver as many cars as possible before quarter four begins. In fact, a Fremont factory employee showed how well Tesla's end of quarter push is underway. So Tesla has routinely made significant progress and growth in terms of vehicle deliveries each quarter and a strategy the company has used in the past is a huge end of quarter production push. You have remember Elon Musk always saying, you know, let's make another push for end of the quarter. Tesla will call on any employee available to assist in any way possible. All the increase the company's delivery figures before a quarter closes out. It appears quarter three 2022 is no different. As an Instagram post from an employee at the Fremont factory showed the lot where factory uh, workers park is full. The lot where the factory's workers park their cars is full and we, uh, we at the V hours in the morning. Tesla is preparing to close out quarter three with a massive spike in production and deliveries as the final few days of the quarter approaches. Instagram users uh, Arisa Bish showed the employee lot early this morning in a post describing the unique parking situation at the factory where the end of quarter push comes. By the way, I will have his link in the description of this video so you can see that. So he said, actually he wrote, I usually park right in front of the Tesla sign, but today it's a fully packed house since it's the end of the quarter. Guess what time it is? It's 3 point, uh, 3, uh, 4, 4 o'clock. There will be folks fighting over parking spot. I guarantee you that, he wrote. Four o'clock in the morning. Tesla's end of quarter push has brought great results in the past and only helps the automaker increase delivery figures. The Fremont factory is the only Tesla production plant that produces all four vehicles the company currently offers to consumers. Giga Factory Shanghai produces the Model 3 and Model Y and Giga Berlin and Giga Factory Texas build only Model Y crossovers, at least for now. But I think that will change. I, uh, I think uh, 
Cybertruck will also be built at Gigafactory, Texas. Tesla investors will be happy to see the company employing the technique in quarter three as Tesla is coming off the first time in nearly three years that is not coming off a quarter where it reported growth in deliveries. In quarter two, Tesla reported 254,000 vehicle deliveries, a decrease from the 310,000 deliveries it reported in quarter one. This was due to a shutdown in Shanghai factory for three weeks in quarter two. You remember that? I reported that. Tesla will deliver over 1 million vehicles for the first time in a year in 2022. However, projections are conflicted and with the unpredictable nature of the current climate in supply chain, nobody uh, truly knows how many cars Tesla will deliver by the end of the year. What do you think? What did, uh, how many cars do you think Tesla will deliver by the end of the year? I would like to hear your comments and I'll look forward to reading them and I will respond everybody so let me know your thoughts in the comment section below